This is my Windows laptop running extremely slow and struggling to manage even few Chrome tabs. And here is the same laptop now running blazing fast and effortlessly switching between multiple Chrome tabs. I accomplished this boost in performance without upgrading the CPU, the RAM or the SSD. Literally for zero dollars, I've transformed this old piece of shit Windows laptop into a blazing fast machine. And if you're wondering how I managed to pull this off, keep watching this video. So this old Windows laptop of mine, it had been collecting dust for the last few years. The problem is its Intel Apollo Lake processor, which is just not fast enough to run Windows 10 operating system. Intel designed Apollo Lake processors mostly for cheap notebooks and Chromebooks, and it was sold under the brand Pentium N4200. This family of processors used Intel's old Atom architecture, which was really slow. So any laptop in 2022, which is running on this chip, it seems like a lost cause until right now because Google has released something called Chrome OS Flex which is a free operating system that can be installed on any Windows laptop and transform it into a blazing fast Chromebook. So what you are seeing here is my old Windows laptop now running Chrome OS Flex. After this OS switch, my laptop feels like a completely new machine. Chrome browser loads much faster and feels way more responsive and websites load really quickly and that annoying lag that I experienced with Windows 10, it's all gone. Added bonus is that now I can toggle between multiple Chrome tabs with ease I also like the fact that Chrome OS seamlessly updates in the background and it does not force you to reboot, something that uh, you know Windows 10 and Windows 11, uh, they tend to do a lot. Now installing Chrome OS Flex is a breeze if you do it the right way. Don't Google for Chrome OS Flex because it will take you to their corporate customers page and when you try to download it from that page, you will be asked to provide a whole bunch of personal information which I am not interested in. So instead, I would recommend that you go directly to the Chrome Web Store and install the Chromebook Recovery Utility add-on. It's a browser add-on and once you install it, you will need a USB 3.0 flash drive that is at least 8 gig in size. Now launch Chromebook Recovery add-on and under select a manufacturer pick Google Chrome OS Flex. Now under select a product category, you will be presented with just one option as of now and it's called developer unstable. Now don't let that name scare you because Chrome OS Flex is actually pretty stable. I don't know why Google is calling it unstable. I've been using it for over a week and I have not experienced any crashes or any hang. Next, insert your USB flash drive and press continue. It will take about 10 minutes to get your bootable Chrome OS USB disk ready. Now when the disk is ready, then uh, you can reboot your laptop and it should automatically boot from the USB disk. Now sometimes this may not happen and if that's the case with you then you will have to go into your BIOS setting and enable boot from the USB drive. So this will depend on you know the laptop so you will have to figure out how to get into the BIOS. Usually F2 or F11 key will let you get into BIOS when you are rebooting. Once you have done that your laptop will boot Chrome OS and you should be greeted with a shiny Google Chrome logo. From here on things are pretty straightforward just enter your Google Google credentials and follow the instructions. Now please note that if you are scared of deleting the existing Windows 10 operating system, then select the option called try Chrome OS. With this option selected, Chrome OS directly boots from the USB drive and it does not mess with your Windows installation. This was the option that I selected and once I was happy with how Chrome OS was running on my laptop, then I went ahead and uh, wiped out the Windows 10 uh, installation. Unfortunately, there is no way to dual boot Windows and and Chrome OS as of now. So you will have to wipe out uh, Windows install if you plan to install uh, Chrome OS. And I know that sucks. And uh, if anybody from Google is watching this video, guys, please enable dual boot option so that we can keep our Windows install and also run uh, Chrome OS. Now you won't be getting all the features of Chrome OS. For example, there is no Android support. Also, you have no access to Google uh, Play Store and there are no support for uh, Android games. Touch screen support is also lacking, at least on this laptop, because I know that this laptop supported touch screen. It worked perfectly fine in Windows 10. But after I installed Chrome OS, the screen does not respond to touches. Hopefully, Google will address these issues in their future releases. Chrome OS has also dramatically cut down the boot time on this laptop compared to Windows 10. The wake up time from sleep is much faster and it makes this laptop feel like a more modern 
modern machine. Honestly, Chrome OS Flex has completely transformed this sluggish Windows laptop. I think it was a piece of shit until I put Chrome OS and now this feels like a very fast and spiffy machine. So maybe I was being too harsh on Intel Pentium N4200 processor. It ain't so bad. When paired with a thin operating system like Chrome OS, you can squeeze decent performance from this chip. So guys, don't just throw your old laptop yet until you have tried Chrome OS Flex. It's completely free, so I think there is really no harm in giving that operating system, you know, at least one shot. Now, if you guys are interested in a budget laptop, check out this video over here where I list my top five budget Windows laptops. These laptops are great for students and also for power users because some of them allow you to easily upgrade RAM and SSD. So go ahead and watch this video and I will see you guys over there. Bye.